Right, so we're back again, and um, this time we've got to do these brackets before I get too far into this. Uh, uh, f before we get the frame on, put it that way. And found a tablet here of uh, just uh, steel, mild steel, and uh, I'm going to make these little things. Two of these, one either side of the um, frame shoe or the shoe that fits on the engines that you attach to the frame. So I've marked it out, I've done it so I can get both bits out of this bit of uh, steel. Right, so i wait for it to cool down, then uh, flip it over and hopefully cut the two out together as a sandwich. Shape there, but this is what I didn't do at the start. I did it all on the frame, and I'd got these all clamped on at the right angles and everything, and then I didn't mark it so that it, the hex bar was the right position. I took it all to bits like a, like an idiot. So anyway, I've got this pain of a job to do now because I weren't thinking. So anyway, I'll never think anyway, so there's no, no change there and I'm not surprised. Well, that's those done for now. Um, what do I do now? I've got to uh, tap these holes out to M12 now. And uh, those ones are all right, they're pass-throughs if they line up, which they should do. I've got to cut a scallop out for this, um, for this spring uh, bracket that I welded on here, but uh, just so it misses that. So that will sit down there all right, I think. Well, so I would have to round this off more. It's a bit too sharp for the powder coating. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, so tap that out, M12, 1.75, which matches all my hardware, you know, the nuts and everything that I've got. I really would have liked a, a less coarse thread than 1.75, but everything I've got, it's 1.75, so I don't, uh, I don't really want to um, buy new taps and all that business, and I, d I don't want to buy a new tap to copy this thread, whatever that is, in there. It's definitely an imperial or a cycle thread. So uh, yeah, right. So next thing is to tap that out. Take it over to the
There you go. Obviously that's not the screw we're going to be using, it's got a shoulder on it that one, but uh, yeah, so it's not much of a thread, but it's something that's then uh, matched up, you see. Just trying to look through the camera now, but yeah, they're pretty close they are. And that's the beauty of machining them both together is you get stand a much better chance of getting them you know the same. So that will that will do that I think. So when we get this uh, chopped up and we know how long it's got to be we can just um, put a, a 12 mil thread on you know because it would be split and put a 12 mil thread on that end, 12 mil thread on that end, feed it through, do it up with a nut and uh, we should have at least got uh, some kind of mapping, you know, so we can either weld it or just tighten it up like we're doing with nuts. But for now, that's uh, that's that bit. That's that bit done. All right. Right, we've got the powder coating back. Um, vast improvement on that. That's lovely. So that's that case in there. I've got the uh, seat bracket done as well that Craig made. That's uh, nicely done in the maroon as well. And uh, we've got the new bit back here as well. So. Yeah, I'm just using my uh, my little thing I made last time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. So as long as I don't drop it on this now, we should be all right. I've done one. That's gone in all right without smacking anything. Yeah, it's going. Still going. Probably a bit tight, it's probably got some powder coat in there. Definitely going in now. In fact, I think that's probably about it. Yep. Kevin, Kevin Bloody Wilson. Yeah. Seen him a few times in concert. I've got this thing here to do. I don't know, I haven't decided on that yet whether to go with the highlighted um, fins or just to paint the whole thing black. But uh, it's, it, it's, it's a completely bare stuff, well not bare, it's filthy, it wants rubbing down and stripping first. We've got this here, Just it's just put in place for now, it's not fitted. We're gonna have the pipe come up and I might, well I'm definitely gonna pinch one of Craig's ideas, it's which one? Because um, Craig knows all about all on these, so I'm gonna uh, definitely pinch one of his ideas. Just gonna put a bit of silver around the edge of this these gaskets now this is proper anal i know i know don't follow me it's stupid so that's that all right pop that in there let it go in well it came out so it must go in right put that in there Lovely, nice clean edges. Look, cleaned all the old gasket stuff off it. Let's put a bit of blobbo in there. Right, let's try and get this in there. That's in there. Let's tip it up and we'll get some screws in there. I don't know what them screws are for. I've got a feeling that that is the is the o-ring that goes in there looks about right as well doesn't it is it yeah there's definitely one in there same all right so that's bin fodder so put that in there without tearing it A little bit too far on that side. There we go. Nicely in place, that is. Lovely. Verify, verify, lovely. This one, easy. Easy. There we go. Nicely done, sir. First in with that. Just check there's nothing in there already that wants fishing out. Nope. Right, put that in. I take it there's no special way of doing that. Right, that's in, and it's got to be the cup, hasn't it? 
Yeah, that's the retaining cup. Then we've got 24, which is a felt washer. Okay, then we've got the bush for that, uh, the crush washer for that. Then, so where are we at? Where are we at? 26, what's that? Oil cleaner spring. Is that the one that came in the kit? I think it is. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. So the spring that sits on the first washer. All right, that's all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Be quick. Oh, yeah. oh. oh bugger. That's not going to go on, is it? Because of them screws. Oh, I'll tell you what, you can see that edge, can't you? So, I've checked, we've got um, a bit of movement on the cogs. Those get a bit tight, but then you can move them in and out of touch, so there is clearance there. They're not locked up or anything, definitely not locked up. Can't get it any better than that anyway. Um, for, you know, the sidewards play, which I can't actually feel any. But I don't think, I was, not till you get to that one. And then that one you got enough, and then that one you got plenty on that. On the distributor one, on the cover front, I'm waiting for it drying because I've had to paint. Powder coat has missed an edge, and it's uh, let me just show you. I don't want to get any gasket material on here. I'm just I've had to paint that little edge there. All the other videos I've watched of people having Royal Enfields open is. Uh, they ain't got those, and this is like an eccentric cam this one's on, so you can move it closer or further away, but it also at the same time closes in on the on the on the crankshaft pinion. Um, so you know you have to get a, a balance between the two, or at least that's what I'm thinking, and that's the way I've done it. The tappets I've done. Yeah, they're all done. There's no up and down movement at all on those, and it's at top dead centre. So that's that. Just still waiting for that paint to dry. And I thought I'd do a bit of work on uh, this thing here that uh, fits up there. Tappet cover, that's what it is. Now I quite like the fact that it's mainly aluminium and the black's inside. So I've taken the black off the top and the bottom and I've just um, so it's a bit rough. I've filed it a bit and, well not this side, I haven't done this one yet. That ain't too bad this one, the other side was really bad. But if you look at it, it is quite pitted. Uh, so, I've, so I've flattened all these off in the uh, sander and stuff and uh, done that one, um, done that side just with a polisher. And uh, so I've filed, quick file over to get it about level and then put it on the sander and then the polisher. So we're at the board, uh, the part I sort of give it a bit of a clean up and a polish and uh, it's a lot better than it was, it's not fantastic but it'll do. So I'm just going to paint the, uh, this black is a pig to get off so I'm going to uh, just put a coat on top of it because obviously that sticks pretty well paint I'm putting on is enamel it will stick to that anyway so uh, let's carry on I'm just going to go in between and then when I'm done I'm going to wipe it so that we bring back the the shiny bits if you know what I mean because I'm going to be going all over this could have even used a bigger brush but I didn't want to get too much paint on it's nice and thick this paint so the Helps to have a decent brush as well. That bit in the metal is raised, it's causing a bit of a problem, but not, not a major one. It's been a nice Saturday actually, I've been sat here enjoying myself today, which is what it's all about for me. As I say, this isn't something we're doing up to sell or anything, this is our sort of project. And uh, for me, the fun is right now, what I'm doing, you know, just working on it. But it's a bit like doing a jigsaw. Once it's done, it's, it's no good, is it? You know, it's no good to you. 
that's how I am with it anyway. Um, hopefully I'll have time to get this video up tonight because it is Saturday as I say, I put one up last Saturday. So that's, uh, that's that, looking pretty awful at the moment. <laughs> right, so, pull the brush out. Give it a bit of cloth. You can do this by wrapping this round a bit of plastic or something, but it's, it's barely worth it. Piece of cake. I'll just need a bit more on that edge, I think. Oh, no. Just clean this brush out as well. Oh. Never mind, we'll get back on it. Oh, Head fill out that brush. Just needed to bring it out a bit more on these bits. straight line down there now with the black. I think we've got it all. Quick polish up after we've done it and there uh, that'll be good to go. How's about that then? Better than uh, the bog standard bit that you get. That's the underneath, it's not so good but yeah. So on the bike, I'll have to wind you back up again I'm going to coming up. Hey. Be in there with a nice uh, stainless steel nut on it. I think that'll look all right. Next time we'll get all these panels back on and we'll have a look at it in its uh, glorious full dress and I think it's gonna look beautiful. All right see you next time then guys and I'll uh, catch you next time. Bye bye for now. Bye.